We're only a couple of weeks into the month of June, and we've already had our first extreme heat warnings of the year. More of those can be expected in the months ahead. The Climate Prediction Center gives Las Vegas an 87% chance of temperatures being average or above average in June, July, and August. Here's what's happening meteorologically. When we get into the summertime, the jet stream tends to shift um, north towards the poles, and so um, typically what we see here in the desert southwest is a large area of high pressure build, which is why our temperatures, you know, go up every summer um, and get so hot. Last summer saw the four hottest days since records began in 1937, including a new all-time high of 120 degrees on July 7th. That wasn't all. A record-setting 30 days last year were 110 degrees or hotter, which is more than three times the average. And the heat kept going. Triple digits lasted into early October, the latest on record. Nine of our 10 hottest summers have happened in the last 20 years. A longer, hotter summer is a trend the National Weather Service says they're keeping tabs on. We have seen our, our summers get warmer, you know, on average as we've gone, especially in the last 20, 30 years. So um, it certainly can get warmer. That's not a guarantee that this summer will be warmer than last year, but um, the trend is not our friend. <laughs> Meet my dog, Punky Brewster. Yeah, that's his real name. As it heats up, we shift our dog walks to the early morning and to just before sunset after dinner time. In the early afternoon, when I come home from work, I'll carry this pug prince to the grassy area near my house for a bathroom break in the shade because the sidewalk temperatures are already too hot. The National Weather Service uses a variable called heat risk to determine when it's too hot for humans. Heat risk combines daytime heat nighttime warmth, the intensity given the time of year, and any known medical impacts of the forecast temperatures. Heat risk exists on a scale of zero to four, and when it hits a three or a four, extreme heat warnings are issued. Level four, which is the extreme category, um, that is like kind of historic long duration heat waves. That's gonna obviously impact everybody and um, yeah, serious action needs to be taken if you have outdoor plans or you don't have access to cooling or hydration. Heat waves bring the threat of heat exhaustion marked by heavy sweating, rapid pulse, and general weakness. If this happens, seek shade or air conditioning, drink water, and if possible, take a cool shower. If symptoms last for an hour, seek medical help. Heat stroke is even more dangerous. It happens when the body can't cool down. A temperature of 104 or higher, hot, dry skin, Dizziness, fainting, cramps or vomiting, and rapid pulse or rapid breathing are all symptoms of heat stroke, and you need to call 911 right away for help. As my colleague Abel Garcia recently reported, these threats hit home to locals. I did have a couple of, I lost a family member like last year um, because of the heat, um, and then I had my grandmother one time, um, almost, um, we lost her to a heat stroke. And I had a niece who got overheated at one time, um, just standing out and waiting for her turn at a um, amusement park. According to the Clark County Coroner's Office, more than 500 deaths in 2024 were heat related. As we deal with the big heat in the next few months, we want you and your family to stay safe. For summer season, your local's guide from extreme heat to monsoon storms, I'm meteorologist Justin Bruce.